Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card. Today I've got a I Love You slash Valentine's Day card. I'm going to be using some Distress Paint in silver. I've also got these cute little flower gems. Um, they're kind of like sequins, but they're in the shape of flowers in different colors. Some Ranger watercolor paper, these Petite Butterfly Dyes by Simon Says Stamp, and the Love Languages set, which I'm using just this I Love You piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my silver Distress Paint and a cup of water and I'm going to dab my paint onto the craft sheet and notice I'm putting several areas of paint um, because I'm going to be dipping some water into it and that way I'll have fresh paint off to the side if I need it. So I'm just going to dip my brush in just a little bit of water, you don't need too much, just to dilute it a tad so it looks like a watercolor. And I'm going to start on the left and I'm just going to draw a straight line. Now um, I did this freehand and I think by about the third line they started to look crooked and I wish I had um, used a little bit of a guide, maybe a piece of paper that I could um, brush along. But anyway, it's, it's handmade, right? So <laughs> no big deal. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I do three lines at a time and then I'm going to flip it over and do it from the other side. So because I've got really good heavy color on the left since that's where I started and now I'm going to start on the left again but I'm going to flip it over so I get just as equal coverage on the other side. So you'll see me grab a little bit more paint and put it into my water mixture and just paint right across there. And you can use any size brush, you can make them wider apart, um, you can just make it unique and for you. So I'm going to keep doing this all the way down. And here I am doing the last one and this sheet is cut a little bit larger than a regular normal card size so that I can trim it out when it's time. Now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, take my butterfly dies, I'm just going to use the medium and the small, place them on my magnetic platform and then I'll go uh, run that through the big shot. Now I thought this was interesting, I realized my uh, acrylic plate was pretty dirty so look at this, I'm just going to rub it here and I guess it's from black cardstock. These, uh, and look at that, isn't that disgusting? Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I used it a lot over the weekend, but these, these acrylic plates are only like two or three months old. It's really weird. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to cut that small one out one more time. And now I've cut another piece of the watercolor paper, just big enough to go underneath all three butterflies. And I'm using watercolor paper because I'm going to be putting some glossy accents on it, and it's very thick and liquidy, and I don't want it to warp too much. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of an outline so I know where to put my glossy accents. Alright, so I'm going to do half of the big flower first. I'm going to cover it with this gloss, a pretty thick layer of glossy accents and I've put all my flowers on a piece of scratch paper so that they're easy to slide on to uh, my butterfly panel. I love these tweezers and all I'm doing is sliding them off my sheet and onto my glossy accents because if I shake them on they're not going to go on uh, with with very much detail and precision. I want to be able to move them around and I want them all to be flat and I don't want them to be clumpy so I kind of took my time here slide and then I can also pick which colors I like that way I don't get too many of the same colors together. So I slide them off my sheet and then arrange it a little bit and it really it seems like it would take a long time but it really didn't take much time. I think the real time for creating this entire card was 30 minutes. So I'm going to finish off this side and then I'll go ahead and use my glossy accents on the other half of the butterfly and finish it up. Now these flower uh, beads have a right side and a wrong side I think. Um, one side does look a little prettier than the other but the difference is so small that it, it doesn't really matter so I wasn't too worried which side was up on the flowers. And you don't have to use flowers, you can use glitter, you can use um, beads, you can use sequins, uh, anything. I just really love these flowers, I thought they were different. Alright, now that I've got that done I'm going to make sure that it's all covered. Compare it to my panel, sorry about my head there. And I'm going to move on to putting my twine on. This is some uh, black beetle twine by Doodlebug. It's my favorite as you can tell because I'm, I'm at the very end of my roll here. So I'm going to wrap it around the back using some adhesive. And then I'm going to make a bow with it. Which I'm going to hold off on the bow until a little bit later when I put it on with a glue dot. Alright, now I'm going to use my sentiment here. I've got the I love you, but it's also got the braille above it and I didn't want that part. So I took my uh, micropore tape, which I use for everything, 
and uh, I cut a piece long enough to cover up the braille so I'll cover that up on the stamp and when I ink it up that portion will not get any ink on it so I'm going to be using some VersaFine black onyx ink when I tap it on there you'll see that I might get some ink on my tape but then I can take my tape right off and uh, that ink goes away I'll go ahead and stamp that in between the silver the silver lines there and then I'll put some uh, Stampin' Up foam adhesive these are dimensionals I'm going to peel the backing off the part that's just around the butterflies and I'll grab my panel that has the flower the flowers in them and I'll put it right over there so it sticks so it's kind of popping up and then I'll take off the backing of the remaining dimensionals because I'm going to be adhering this to my card base now and then I'll use an ATG gun to apply adhesive to the flat panel and I'm using a Hero Arts cardstock that's black on the outside and uh, white on the inside I always use this cardstock when I want a black base and then I'll put a little glue dot there with my fingers that I've rolled up and I'll place my uh, bow right on there and I'll trim off the end there and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.